This is Jesse Morrill, College Counselor at Liberty Common High School. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to read the information that is in the college profiles that you can find in your Naviance account as you're researching different schools that you're considering for after high school. Remember that as you log in, you're going to be using your PowerSchool uh, username as well as your PowerSchool password. If you don't know these numbers, come and see me or somebody in the front office and we can make sure that you're able to get logged into Naviance. Again, once we're on the Naviance account, you've got all these options. We're going to take a look at the college, Colleges tab. And I'm going to look up a school here. And you can see there's a number of ways to look up schools. But if I'm looking for a school in particular, I'm going to click on College Lookup. And we're going to look at Colorado State since it's here in town. So I simply type it in. It gives me a list of options. And I'm going to choose the one in Fort Collins. And then from here, you get a college profile. And you'll see that these profiles are available for every school in the United States, as well as a lot of vocational schools. There's also um, international schools that are listed in here. And you can get this same information. And, and what's nice about looking at uh, schools through your Naviance account is it's really easy to compare one school to another because you can find the same information in the same places in these college profiles. So when you're looking at the front page, sometimes you'll, again, some of the schools will have some of these pictures here and different information about their campus. You'll come down here and generally you'll get some contact numbers for the admissions office, uh, which is very helpful if you have a quick question. You can always call an admissions office at a college and, and someone there can help you uh, an answer the questions for you. You can see here that we have a link right to their website, so we can go to CSU's website and look there as well. One, one thing that's nice is to start here first because you're going to find more uh, information that's really what you're looking for right now. Whereas if you go to a website, sometimes it can, it can take a few more clicks to get to where you want to be. And then you'll see that some of these schools have a FISC guide profile. So they'll give you a little blurb here about uh, Colorado State, the campus, the atmosphere. The FISC guide is a great college, uh, college book with just information about college atmospheres and, and what you can expect on some of the top schools in the nation. Um, and then as you, as you scroll down, we'll get some general information, enrollment size, whether it's a public or private school, uh, whether it has a religious affiliation, what, what the surroundings look like, all that sort of thing. So some general information here on the front page. Now, as you come over here to some of the links, you can see all these gray boxes are, are different links to, uh, to different pages here within the profile. So if we click on admissions, we're going to get some information about the admissions uh, process at, at Colorado State. You can see here again a contact person, Jim Rollins, who you can, you can call, you can uh, email as well. Um, you also get some statistics here. So CSU last year, you can see the number of applications that they received, how many people they accepted. It means they accepted 80% of, of the students who applied. The lower that number is, the more selective a school is. Um, and then you can see how many students actually enrolled as freshmen. You can take a look here at the average freshman profile, so an average ACT score of a 24. You can see the average SAT scores, the average GPA. You can also come over and you can and look at what they require for testing. So you can see CSU, they, uh, they will take either the SAT or the ACT. Um, and so you can get some of that information there in terms of what they require. As you, as you scroll down here to the bottom, you'll see a list of courses that they expect that you've taken while you're in high school. Now, every college is a little bit different here, um, and you can see that they expect that you're in your core classes um, throughout much of your career. One area that you want to always look at is foreign language. Some schools have up to a four-year requirement for foreign language. CSU, you can see, requires one but recommends at least two years. Um, it, so every school is a little bit different that way. Now as you come up here, if we click on financial aid, this is more about cost, truth, truthfully, than it is financial aid, although you do have a contact person in the financial aid office here that you can reach. Um, you can take a look at what the in-state tuition is versus out-of-state tuition. You'll see there's a big difference there. One thing you'll notice is that with public schools, you're going to see that difference. With a private school, there really is no in-state tuition cost because the state um, does not help pay for the tuition with a, with a private school. Um, you can look at room and board cost, so obviously that's going to include dorms and food and all that good stuff. 
Um, and then you can take a look at some statistics they have around the number of students receiving financial aid or scholarship money at their school. If you go to majors and degrees, now you're going to get a big list here of all the majors that are offered at Colorado State. You can see it's, it's pretty big when you're looking at a big college. You can see whether or not they offer certificates, associate's degrees, bachelor's degrees, master's, or even doctorate degrees in each of those areas. So you get a nice list there of the programs that they offer. Then if you look at student life, then you can take a look at some of the different things that are offered on campus in terms of athletics, clubs, activities, fraternities and sororities, and, uh, and all that good stuff that goes on outside of the classroom. So that's what you're going to look at through the profile. Now, if you like this school, if you've looked at a school and you've decided that, that it's a school that you're interested in applying to, then we want you to add it to your list. And so this is what you'll do. You can just go right here and click on this Add to List button. And what this does is now it adds it to your, to your list of schools. So if you go back to your Colleges tab and you go to the Colleges I'm Thinking About link, now you can see that we've got Colorado State on our list and I've also added a few other schools on here as well. And any school that you have an interest in, you'll want to throw on here. One, it's nice for students because you can come back and do more research and you can remember that you know this was a school you had some interest in and it sort of saves it on there for you so you can come back to it and look at it at any time. You can also see that it gives you a list of their uh, application deadlines for the most part. You can go right to an email link for any of these schools. Um, the graphs, we won't have any information on there until we have some graduates um, at Liberty who, who actually go on to college, um, but those will be that will have information about where our students are going to school later. And then you can also look at the website for those schools. Um, the other thing that's nice about this is that as your counselor, I can see the schools that you're interested in. And it allows me to put you on email lists and get information to you about these schools that's going to be relevant to you. Um, and also I can just see that and I, the, see the list uh, individually with students. And it helps me to, uh, to help you and be a little more effective and counseling you in terms of your college plans. So hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, certainly send me an email or come and see me in person once the school year starts.